European American Armory in Florida travels the world looking for the best values in firearms. And we've got some outstanding examples of what they have today for us from Gerson in Turkey. These are three pistols that are really, really cool. Great price on them. Joe, let's talk about where we're starting with your gun down here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. EAA really brings us uh, top value handguns and, and firearms of, of all mm -hmm. makes. And that's what I like to think of. Value, the features and construction for the price, and it's really hard to beat EAA yep. in that regard. Yeah. So first up over here, we've got the MCP35, and this is the lightweight model. So the P35, obviously based off the Browning FN P35 design, it is a double stack nine millimeter, but Gearson and EAA have really brought it forward in terms of modernizing the design. It is optics ready, if you can believe it. RMSC cut on top. They've also chopped about half the weight out of this thing. Sorry, not half the weight, about a half pound of weight out of this thing by going with an aluminum grip. But you can see they've still added features despite that reduction by giving you a actually an accessory rail on the dust cover here. Mm -hmm. Fiber optic sights, extended beaver tail, enlarged control, flat trigger. Uh, this is a high power like you haven't seen before and one that's really ready for the modern shooter. Yeah, what a, what a cool take on the P35, right? I mean, this cool carry gun, it's got all these features. Another really interesting gun that we have here from Gerson is the MC14 tip-up barrel. So. Why do you want a tip-up barrel? Well, the answer is this. There are a lot of people out there who want a handgun who maybe don't have the hand strength to operate a slot. Mm -hmm. That can be challenging for a lot of people, but actually a lot of people don't buy a semi-auto because they don't want to do that. The solution is right here. The tip-up barrel allows you to push a button, tip the barrel up, put a round in the chamber, close it, and then it operates just like a double action 380 auto. And it is in 380 auto, so that's a little more mild recoil. You still got some good, uh, a good selection of defensive loads for it, but it's not going to hit quite as hard as, as a nine millimeter. Uh, so that's great. You have great capacity, 13 plus one. You got a lot of rounds on tap. And the other thing that people like about this gun is the safety feature of it, right? You can tip that barrel up. You can automatically see whether or not there's anything in the chamber with that barrel tipped up. You know you're safe. Lots of other great features on this gun. It's got really good sights. It's got a very nice trigger, ambidextrous uh, safety on this gun. And you've got a steel slide and a steel barrel. And with that barrel in that fixed position, it's a really accurate 380. Yeah, definitely. I love the tip-up designs. Uh, and this is a great take on, on that whole concept. And again, we've kind of seen a resurgence of guns for people that may not have this hand strength for some of the polymer right. frame semi-autos. So that's very cool. Now we come over, these are both great kind of smaller guns, good for concealed carry, very good utility there. But we're coming into a larger platform here with the Witness 2311. Again, this is a nine millimeter double stack, but one of the exciting things about the Witness 2311 compared to some other double stack 1911 designs, they're going to make this in not just nine millimeter, but also 10 millimeter and 45 ACP. So I don't know what secret sauce they're rubbing in there to uh, get that done, but yeah. very cool. Lots of great features as we've seen from the other pistols, that full diameter grip texturing, obviously the 1911 grip safety and manual thumb safety. We've also got the accessory rail here, skeletonized trigger, and of course, it is optics ready. So again, a very modern gun, double stack 1911. Looking quickly at those MSRPs, on the tip up, we're right around $500. When you come over to the MCP35 lightweight, we're at about 750 to start. And for the Witness 2311, we're right around $1,000. So a ton of features, great construction, very cool guns at very affordable prices. You can check all these out at eaacorp.com.